Ring, ring, ring. Postman. Who this? Sherry the Worst. So boom, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jerry, and today I'm gonna jump right into this hairstyle um, with freshly washed and pressed hair. I do have relaxed hair. I feel like I gotta say that in every video. <laughs> Cause like, you know, people just, you know, people just don't know. So I gotta clarify. So I start off by parting the middle of my head, and through that I part um in the back of my ear area i feel like you know if i don't do the part in the middle of my head i can't find the part going to my ear close enough i don't know i just can't i can't make it even it takes a lot of work to make my parting even so yeah <laughs> extra measures are taken so after that i separate the front and back of my head and i start by um clipping the front of my hair away and working on the back first and you're gonna see me do a part down the middle which you should do but um what i did wrong was i did a part and it looked even in the viewfinder y'all but it wasn't even ah! <laughs> The next time I do this style, you know, probably I'll have a little bit more training on how to part my hair correctly. But I think I did a good enough job, you know, first time. So, after I was done parting my hair down the middle, I took my Eden edge control. And I just parted, started putting it around the perimeter of my hair. Um, and I put a little, I put a lot in. I'm not going to say a little. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> but um, I put a lot in because I like it when my uh, braids look really, really sleek down. And I like it when I can see the 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 parting within the braids like you know when people pick up hair and they kind of part it while they're picking it up i like seeing that in the braid pattern you feel me i hope that makes sense so yeah i put a lot in and i make sure i brush through it with a bristle brush because if you don't brush through the edge control um and just like a gunk of it stays in one area it ends up turning it white and you're gonna see me try to braid my head backwards y'all you're gonna see this happen in real life you feel me um and not work out it just looked a hot mess to me it was like oh no it just looked weird so I was like no nah, I gotta take this down so I tried a different method um I think I picked it up on Instagram I yeah I saw it on Instagram first and this girl basically mimicked the the braiding pattern of like picking it up I think it's called stitch braids or something you know she basically parted her hair in small sections well rather big sections you know compared to me and um she put it in little rubber bands and started to braid along the rubber bands and it created like this nice pattern within her hair and it looked like it was actually like you know if you didn't know how to braid or cornrow correctly and you wanted to make a pattern of like picking that cornrow up i don't know what you call it but you can see like when a hairstylist has like picked the hair up while she's braiding their hair and it creates this nice pretty pattern throughout the head i you know basically i'm trying to mimic that <laughs> down to like what i'm trying to say i'm trying to mimic that and so i did it in small sections because when I did it in big sections the first time around it looked very ugly it looked very weird and so I was like all right you know I got to do it smaller so I did it smaller and also I say it in every video I am working with the wrong <laughs> Jerry is working with the wrong rubber bands you have to work with um these these plastic rubber bands um they're like a, a clear plastic rubber band and they won't cause your hair to break off i don't experience breakage when i work with these rubber bands that's why i'm so slow on buying the correct ones but if you ever do experience breakage and you want to try out this method of braiding or this hairstyle in general definitely definitely excuse me pick up the plastic okay okay make sure you're not putting the rubber bands too tight as well just because you don't want it to put too much tension in your head and you're going to be braiding on top of these rubber bands which is going to be another like layer of tension <laughs> so make sure you're just taking your time doing like maybe i guess maybe three loops through the rubber band i think i did maybe three or four loops through the rubber bands and um the first rubber band i had to like you know loosen up a lot because that was where my tension was at the most so as you can see i'm done you know all my rubber bands are pretty much going in a straight line upwards of my head and then I just basically braided it I braided it going backwards and it wasn't that hard at all I just had to grip my hair correctly also before I answer this question like wildfire in the comment section <laughs> I uh, I put my hair into 10 parts 10 rubber bands 10 parts y'all okay okay because I know I'm gonna get that question a lot
so y'all this is my first attempt it looks okay you know like it, it it doesn't look hairstylist you know type of okay but it looks you know done at home diy type of okay you know i just learned how to braid type of okay you know <laughs> but i had to do this style maybe two or three times just to get a hang of the gripping it really wasn't that bad it wasn't hard to do i just had to grip it harder um to make a tighter braid you're talking to somebody who really like i, I was playing but i literally just learned how to braid this year <laughs> so it came out okay you know and so now you see me working pink lotion through my hair because if you look close enough you can see a little bit of dandruff and that's because during like the fall winter time my hair gets really really dry and I have to keep pink lotion and oils throughout my hair whenever I do a protective hairstyle and I'm sure that goes for everybody whenever they do like a protective hairstyle you're supposed to do this but some people don't get dandruff if they don't I do <laughs> so I have to make sure I take this precaution you know and so now you see me moving to the front of my head and before I do anything I just put two elastic bands around the two braids just to make sure they're nice and secure and they won't unravel when I do my um high bun so now you see me working my edge control in throughout my edges and I put a lot in like I did in the back just to make sure it gets really really sleek and I go through it again with a bristle brush very self-explanatory you know basic you know thing So after I've pinned my hair down, I made sure my bun is nice and tight to get ready for the hair that I'm got about to put in, excuse me. And the hair that I'm going to be using is from Sassina Haya. I have no idea how to pronounce their website or the brand, excuse me, I'm sorry. But I have the Ombre Curly Clip-In Hair Extensions in the length 20. And it has like this um, honey ombre type of thing going on. They sent me one pack, you guys. Like I, at first I was like, what in the world am I going to do with one pack? Because you know, one pack is not enough to fill out my whole entire head and I don't have natural hair so I could not match the style so I was like okay like this is gonna be ponytail hair so the first thing I did was wrap it around my um, my real bun I wrapped it maybe two clip-ins around it and then I took my third clip-in and I kind of fluffed that one out and I started to kind of like loosely pin it around that bun there really is no technique, you guys. I literally just played around with the hair till I got the desired style that I wanted. I kind of just plucked around. I plucked the hair out, first of all, and started to pin it in areas where I wanted it to be a little bit more tamed at until I got like a little bit of a, like a pineapple type of top bun. I wanted it to be big, but in like a circle, you know, like a regular bun should be. And so after I plucked it out and pinned it as much as I could to make it look okay, I still had a little bit of flyaways. So then after all that, I took my scissors and started to cut a little bit of the hair. I didn't want to cut too much of it because I felt like, you know, the next time I want to do this hairstyle, it may not turn out right because I cut too much of the hair and it just looks weird. And, you know, I just didn't want to waste the hair, basically. You know, I didn't want to cut too much where when I want to do this hair again, I can't get that same amount of volume. So now I'm going to just move on to laying down my edges. This is literally the last step. After I laid down my edges, all I did was put a scarf around it to make sure it laid in place. And I'm using my rat tail comb to lay down my edges and not my edge brush just because my rat tail comb gives me a little bit more control And I am finished, you guys. I want to thank you guys for sitting through this tutorial with me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Tell me what you think about this hairstyle. You know, it's tamed in the front and it's a party in the back. <laughs> but, um, I'm corny. But basically, you know, I think the color added a nice little oomph to the hairstyle. You don't have to use color. I think it'll look even more amazing with just black hair because, you know, that's what I usually wear. But, um... Without further ado, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you tried this hairstyle. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, you guys.